Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris Chase, Project Director for the Western Flyer Foundation, and I've been the day-to-day -day face of the Foundation for almost four years now. One of the benefits of being in that position is I've met some amazing people and heard some unbelievable stories. There are so many awesome stories surrounding the Western Flyer and the log from the Sea of Cortez. I thought in this episode I'd just focus on one of those stories. And that story starts right here with this 120-year-old ship's bandsaw. This saw will be used every single day to rebuild the Western Flyer, and it has the most amazing connection to the story. Over the last 40 years, the Port Townsend shipwrights have definitely made some changes. The shipyard opened its doors in 1981 with 10 founding members. But before any work could begin, they would need tools, lots of tools. So the founding members all threw a couple hundred bucks in a hat, and they went to a tool sale in nearby Tacoma. The main tool purchased that day was a 36-inch ship's bandsaw. The saw was brought back to Port Townsend and immediately put to work. And over the coming years, the shipwrights would literally build their business around the saw. The saw became such an important part of the company that they even included it in their logo. Ship's bandsaw is a pretty incredible tool. This saw here is about 120 years old, probably built like 1900, 1910, something like that. And it's totally different than the home or cabinet shop saw, where if you just need to cut a bevel, the table rotates and the blade stays plump. In a ship's bandsaw, to accommodate the extra heavy timbers we're cutting, the blade, the table stays flat and the blade and carriage rotate to a bevel. So one shipwright will be driving the timber into the saw, cutting on the line, while well, a second shipwright is turning this knob, which is changing the bevel. You're looking at a protractor back through there. They're calling out those bevels. Fast forward to 2015, and I was just getting involved in the restoration. One of Martin Petridge, the original builder's relatives, had arranged to come up and see the flyer. He arrived mid-morning, and after a quick round of handshakes and hellos, he asked if he could see the saw. At this point, I had never heard the story of the saw or where it had come from. As it turns out, the saw that was purchased in 1981, the same exact saw used nearly every day for the last 40 years, the same exact saw that would be used to rebuild the Western Flyer was purchased at a going out of business sale at the Western Boat Company, the shipyard that built the Western Flyer in 1937. As the grandson of the builder told the story, I tried to absorb the idea that the very same bandsaw that built the Western Flyer in 1937 would be used to rebuild her in 2019. It's pretty crazy to think of all the shipyards in the Puget Sound, and somehow she ended up here. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe.